Hello, Zoltan here from Adagio Hands, releasing stock bodies. Do you ever find it difficult to know exactly where to turn in the NHS when you have an issue that needs a resolution? This video covers the range of services from the NHS in very broad terms. And I've made it because in 2022, 2023, it's become apparent that the healthcare system is under some strain. People aren't being seen to necessarily as quickly as they should be. And when they are seen to, perhaps they're not getting as comprehensive uh, rehabilitation as they could be. So I hope this at least helps you navigate your way to the right services for you. So as I say, it's very broad. Services will differ actually by location and certainly by country, Scotland, England, Wales, Northern Ireland. But I hope this gives you a kind of overview. So obviously, starting with the most urgent, if something's really life-threatening and is urgent, call 999. Hopefully an ambulance will turn up. But if you think you can make it into hospital or have someone take you to accident and emergency, then do that if it's life-threatening or if you suspect it's life-threatening. If it's urgent but not life-threatening, you might want to go to an urgent care centre, which are run by hospitals or GP surgeries or bespoke walk-in centres. So those are urgent care centres around the country. And they're similar to minor injuries units. So if you can't find an urgent care centre near you, you might want to uh, search for minor injuries unit on Google and you, you might have some luck with that. If you're not quite sure what to do, uh, one service you can call is 111. You can also access their website, 111.nhs.uk, and they will triage you. They will help you decide where exactly you need to turn. Now, the response time from 111 varies. Sometimes it seems to be around 20 seconds and they'll pick up the phone, which is absolutely fantastic. Other times it seems to be a lot longer and you'll also be asked to go through a whole range of questions just to ensure that there isn't anything uh, urgently life-threatening that's happening. And that can take a little time when you already know what you've got going on, but you still have to go through the filter of, of um, ensuring there's nothing life-threatening going on. So that's the kind of disadvantage there. Of course, very often we're told to go and see our GP which is great if we have a family GP that we've known for a long time and they're available. But often it's very hard to get in touch with our GP. We have to call at eight in the morning or we can't get through or there's a very long waiting list if it's not an absolutely urgent issue. So that can be tricky, but of course it's great if you do manage to speak to your GP who knows you and knows your background and knows you as a person. By the way, a little tip, it's of course always good to get onto the GP's system if you can. Why? Well, because if there is a need for wider uh, investigations, blood tests, MRI, onward referrals, then that can take place. So that gives, I hope, a broad overview of what's available from the NHS. Now, it's worth mentioning that private GPs are also available if you can't get uh, to the uh, NHS free uh, point of service uh, GP. And the tricky thing sometimes with my, my profession as a manual therapist is, is that when people come to see uh, me or others on a private basis, you do get seen to relatively quickly and you do have typically an hour to take a proper case history, have a thorough assessment and have some uh, meaningful treatment and post-session follow-up and aftercare and perhaps a programme of sessions where you're looked after over that programme. It's a bit more difficult, of, and this isn't a criticism, but just a fact of life. If you are referred by the GP to, uh, often it will be to a physiotherapist. It may take many weeks or even months to get that referral. When you do go and see the physio, they might be quite pushed for time. You might only have 20 minute session and you may not get that kind of comprehensive personal care that you feel you need. So there are various uh, factors involved. You know, there's the timing, there's the time once you're in session. There is, of course, there's the resourcing, whether you want to wait 
for a session that's free or do you have the resource to pay for something and uh, it's something that may be more comprehensive so those are th the considerations to make if you're ever unsure chances are you can give a private uh, therapist a call and they can just advise you on you know whether they can see you whether it's worth waiting what your options are so do uh, take that into account I hope you found that helpful. The situation is very much changing. So maybe in a year or two, uh, the healthcare system will under, be under less strain, but that's the situation at the moment. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you in another video.